NX. Got some NX news. Now, all everything that I'm going to be talking about and bringing up comes from a source, a Mr. Takashi Mochizuki, who works for the Wall Street Journal. If you don't know who he is, he's a very well revealed, 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 revealed. He's a good journalist. <clears throat> um, so, NX may be capable of working with PS4, Xbox One, smartphones, and PC. But wait, there's more. Did you say Xbox One and PS4? I did. Apparently, um, again from the same source, uh, GFK, who is a Nintendo affiliate, has said that the NX would be capable of 4K 60fps streaming. Okay? And that apparently comes from... Um, well, as far as the console will run, though, sorry, I just fucked that all up. The console itself, the NX itself, will run at 900p, you know, native resolution by itself. And the consoles will upscale it, and I don't know, like, PC would be able to stream 4K, not consoles, and then 60 FPS streaming. So the thing about, uh, you know, the console being able to talk with the PS3, PS4, Xbox One, PC smartphones comes from David Gibson, who's the head of research at Macquarie Capital Services. Secu- services? I fucking don't even know what I wrote there. Secur- Regardless, securities. securities. Thank you. Yeah. Secur- Macquarie services. Capital Security. <clears throat> Thank you. In Japan, who is another, you know, they're affiliated with Nintendo. So that's all I have. There you go. You do with that what you will. Well, let's Steven go ahead. So I'm the uh, noted Nintendo <coughs> drone here. Not really. I just like their games. Okay, so yeah, really. I've been following the... I go on NeoGAF quite often. Yeah. And every, like, Nintendo NX thread gets fucking tons of replies because, mm-hmm. like, we, there's no info out there. So any potential leak, like, people jump, jump on that to, like, give their input and everything. Yeah. And there's some, like, detectives that go on these fucking boards, right? And so, so the GFK, both essentially both of these rumors in one way have been kind of debunked. And I'll okay. get into what I at least took away from like what these people said and the rationale. So the GFK survey, first of all, I have the I have the page up here. There's a sur- so let me rattle off the quick bullet points here. Um, so under Nintendo and Nexus is a border. It says exclusive game franchises featuring Mario, Zelda, Donkey Kong, and more. Connect with other Nintendo players around the world via Nintendo Network. Okay. Mm-hmm. Gameplay flow between NX console and NX handheld. Which we've kind of heard about before. Yeah, that, that's, that was reported by that same Wall Street yeah. Journal reporter. Yeah. Takashi yeah. Machizuki. Yeah. I like Who I follow on Twitter, and he's getting yeah. useful he's very juicy good tips. He, he has juicy sources in the Japanese shit. game industry. Um, earn and share gaming achievements, triumphs, and defeats with your gaming friends and the Nintendo gaming community. Did you say Again, earn and share gaming achievements? Yes. Hmm. Trophies. That's what I said before that they need. Yeah, let me elaborate on all this in a second. Surf the web or make video calls on your TV. Wii U can do that. Skype. Right? Yeah. Yes. Support 4K slash 60 FPS video streaming. A lot of people were like, whoa, 4K with a console. All right, and the last bullet under here, gameplay graphics at 900p slash 60 frames per second. And then there's another heading, what's in the box? Now, this, I think, would have debunked it for me right away. Mm. But then again... You can't really predict Nintendo because they're fucking weird. Yeah. So, <laughs> in the box, Nintendo NX console, sensor bar, mm. game controller, and HDMI cable. No power cord. Yeah, so that was one reason. But, so the GFK, this is all a marketing survey, and it's more of like, right. what if you could see... Yeah, I'm sorry, console. I forgot to mention that. Yeah, right. well, that was like, no one knew that at first. Oh, okay. And this was actually sourced by, not that, not Mr... Muzi- Machizuki. Machizuki. His, his source, David Gibson. Yeah, that is the PS4 PC right. mobile connection. This was leaked by someone named Liam Robertson, oh, okay. who in the past worked with Unseen 64, which they're okay. known for like canceled games. They will publish like documentation mm. and videos and like graphic art that they've gotten from the studios. Like, there's a Kid Icarus game that was canceled, made be made by Factor Five, who made the great. Star Wars Rogue Squadron games on GameCube, and they made that game layer on PS3, which flopped. And from there, they pretty much shut their doors. Um, which is a cool concept, by the way. Looking back on it, mm-hmm. fucking dragons, PvP dragons flying around, shit. Mm-hmm. And so he leaked this, and so it's a legit document. And GFK, I think, officially commented saying that 
essentially commented by saying no comment. They can't confirm or deny anything. Yeah. So, like, and a lot of people were pointing out, like, why would Nintendo, like, outsource, like, marketing research? And, like, if they were doing this by now, like, the console wouldn't be out this year. Like, you do this stuff way in advance and everything like yeah. that. So, I don't put much in this to, into this. And a lot of people were, like, bitching, and probably rightfully so, about, like, the supposed lock of, like, 900p, yeah. 60 frames per second. Because they're Wii U games. I go 1080 60 like Smash Brothers does that. I believe Mario Kart does 1080 60. Yeah, I think so. Um but the and so on and so forth. So like they games like scale all the time on every console. Yeah. But like I wonder if that just means like the more native resolution because Xbox 1 primarily is 900p. Yeah. And there's a separate rumor of a couple months ago that the console would be as strong as Xbox 1. Mm. So Maybe there's a link there. I don't think there is. But here's, like, that doesn't make any fucking bit of, not even the smallest inkling of sense for Nintendo to do. Why? 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 Yeah, so that's why I think this is all, like, what would you like to see? And I think there there were, this is a multi-page document, and and the questions were worded, like, would you like to see this? Would you like to see, like, gaming achievements and stuff? Mm -hmm. Would you like to see, like, these types of online connectivities and these hardware features? So the only one that I would... Not almost guaranteed, but, like, the whole handheld and console thing, this has been rumored for a while. There's a lot of, like... Yeah. The, the reports from that, the Wall Street Journal report, yeah, and there all, are others all, as well. All of the, the patents they were refining yeah. and everything, yeah. yeah. I've been hearing sold separately, and this kind of clarifies oh, that as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently, yeah. The, the handheld's going to be sold It won't be a hybrid, from... because Iwata has said in the past, before he died, like, it won't be a hybrid. Uh-huh. He wants it to be, like, a family of systems, like, brothers and everything. And so it's stuff basically like, like a 3DS that talks to your Wii U a little a little better. Yeah, kind of. Honestly, like, and they're not wrong. Like, taking like some of what Sony has with the Vita and PS4 and PS3, mm-hmm. and like, kind of like making their own twist on it. And like, Nintendo's more established in the handheld market. Mm-hmm. And I don't know, just some of the they could clearly learn things from Sony as well as like Apple. I think, which is what yeah. I think they're trying to emulate the most. And yeah. You ought to talk about like Apple and Android specifically, like this. The architectures like are unified across all platforms. Yeah, so that's what they're trying. Here, to do. Here's my other viewpoint on this. Right, I don't care. Okay, when Nintendo's ready to tell us what they have, they will tell us what they have, mm-hmm. and they will show it. And they will have a fucking direct conference or whatever for it, and that'll be it. Definitely. That's yeah. It. Obviously, yeah. that's that's where I am with this. There's so much fucking shit out there. We'll see. Mm-hmm. You know, the patents are the patents, and you can look at the yeah, patents. Yeah, patents can be anything. But people fucking file patents all the time and don't fucking use them. They just yeah. do it because they're like, oh, Sony, hey, what if we want to do Sony this? Sony tried to trademark the term Let's Play. Yeah. <laughs> Which, that's that. a separate thing, but... That's fucking... That's... Well, that was... I think that was for marketing purposes, not for <laughs> them trying to make money off people saying Let's Play on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. But... And so now we'll comment briefly on the Macquarie thing, which is oh, from yeah, the Wall yeah. Street Journal, which was reeling it via this other report. Mm-hmm. And so that was... When people looked, I didn't myself look at the actual source. I regrettably have to say that. But from what people have read, the whole connectivity with other things was more like conjecture and wasn't, there was no, nothing really firm. It wasn't like a source has told me that there is capability to connect to like other consoles and everything like that. Um, Maybe like the mobile and PC thing is like when they announced their mobile games, that's when they, Iwata announced NX. So like. No, not everyone thought, oh, Nintendo, they're just going to make mobile games now. They're not going to make consoles and stuff. Gotcha. So, And there was, like, this little, like, bubble of, like, systems and stuff. So there was mobile, there was 3DS, there was Wii U, there was NX, and there was PC. So mm. I think that might just have to do more with, like, their Nintendo account. I don't know if it means, like, yeah. hey, if you don't buy our hardware, you can still play our games if you, like, pay for a service well, or something. I can see them doing that. Maybe something along the I- along the lines Along the lines of like um, like an origin or like a Steam yeah, type that's what thing I thought. Yeah, where you yeah. could play you know their games on yeah. the PC, mm-hmm. PlayStation Now. Yeah, something like that. Where you could stream Wii game or Nintendo games on your mm-hmm. PS4. Yeah, yeah, probably not. What if they did yeah. that in app? I, yeah, but I don't think not initially. I don't think Sony nor Microsoft would allow that. Really? I don't know. I think they once they, they get they money from it, if they get some exclusive the exclusivity thing. Yeah. All right, but let me. This is an article in, in Nintendo Life regarding McQuery securities. McQuery report believes a competitively priced NX Portable could launch this year, quote, console partner device, unquote, in 2017. Hmm. 
And then the subheadings. The whole works with PS4 thing is random and unlikely, though. And so just kind of skimming through this. Um, so they moved up the release, their projected release date from November of 2017 to November 2016. Mm -hmm. It's for the handheld. I guess it's for the hand. I think that is for the handheld. And then there'd be a console that comes out. 2017. In 2017. So the hand, we'll see the handheld before the console. Mm -hmm. so, which is cool. Hey, let me read it's this. cheaper to make. Yeah, the report gets interesting with its assertion that the portable aspect of NX will come first in that November window and be competitively priced at around $200. That's not with, bad. With Nintendo having learnt from the era of its launch 3DS price in 2011. How much was that? 250 For, you know, it was... They, they sacrificed money to put towards the 3D screen, which I don't fucking use. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it was... Not as well powered, and there like there were room. Like, there's always these rumors of like these, like Nvidia was going to make the GPU in 3DS, and then that they if something happened and it, they didn't make it, and it was by, I don't know. I guess a AMD makes every console chips, but I don't know who made yeah. the 3DSs. Um, but it was going to be Nvidia, and now it wasn't. Um, so and there's been rumors of the dev kits are out there. Apparently, the third parties like them, but they said yeah. that about Wii U, and Wii U has no third party support because of. Partly because the sales and other decisions Nintendo made with just building the console itself. Which is just nuts. Mm -hmm. It then expects a console partner device in 2017 and points to potential AR features based, again, on patents. So the 3DS kind of has that with the little cards. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You get them with your 3DS and you go on the camera and the little Mario or Zelda you or Kirby show. You use it for about five minutes and then you should throw it away. And yeah. Never I, touch it again. Yeah, I have them somewhere in my fucking room. So this is... So this is kind of what the status is of the NX according to this McQuarrie like mm -hmm. forecasting company. So I think there's feasibility to that. Um, there's been reports that like Foxconn is manufacturing the NX already, and I think we talked about this really? last time I was here. Like they expect to ship like 20 million units in the first year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's those are definitely handheld numbers, unless it was handheld and console the same year which yeah. I so this was so th let me build this off something else real quick I don't want to keep taking too long no um, take your time so today hot off the presses that gentleman Liam Robertson yeah. who leaked this GFK survey along with someone named Emily Rogers on Twitter and there was one other person as a NeoGAF user and the name is escaping me but these three people have a source that said there's an unannounced first party Wii U game that like it hasn't been delayed it's not like a small indie game. It's not in like development hell or anything. It just hasn't been announced. And on Monday, for some reason they want to wait till Monday. They they said they want to like reaffirm what their sources have told them. And they said Monday they after we record this. Like this yeah. Monday. Okay. Yeah, this coming, this coming Monday, Monday. So I don't know the date. Twenty fifth maybe. I think twenty fifth is a Monday. Twenty fifth was set three. Twenty fifth. Yeah, you're right. Twenty yeah. fifth. Okay, so the twenty fifth, they said they're gonna like reveal what they know. So and they said it's an unannounced game. It the game has fans. It's not like a spin-off, like, mini-game, okay. po party-game bullshit. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So... You want to speculate? I thought... So I was reading some replies on the gaff thread, and I'm like... And I remember, like, Mimoto said Pikmin 4 is almost done, mm -hmm. but he Pikmin 4 is technically not unannounced because he said something mm -hmm. about it, but it hasn't been officially announced. There was always rumors about a Paper Mario game, which would be fucking <sighs> awesome. Oh, dude. But those, those, are, those are always fake rumors, like 4chan threads, like mm -hmm. Nintendo's E3 is going to have Paper Mario by Intelligent Systems or anything. So I don't know what it's going to be. I have a guess. Have Animal guess. Crossing. I that I heard was a good guess as well. An like actual a Animal game. Crossing? Yeah, like a legit one. Not like the fucking turd that they put out? Mm -hmm. Not Amiibo Festival. Yeah. yeah not or true. Happy Home Designer Decor. I heard that was okay for what it was, but then I heard the war game was just fucking awful. I didn't get either. Um, so I'm not sh So I'm looking at the Wii U lo lineup for this year. Yeah. They have Star Fox, which yeah. the polish, it might... Be from like not very good to okay, maybe. We don't really know. It's okay, boss. Yeah, I would say maybe an okay best. It's not going to sell, it's right? Good. So that's Star Fox in April, which they reaffirmed. There were rumors it would be delayed to July. Okay. Nintendo of America at least reaffirmed April. No, we Zelda. have the Zelda game. They say 2016. I still think it's going to be Wii U and NX. Yes. yes. But it'll be out on Wii U first, maybe. Holiday this year. We have Shin Megami Cross Fire Emblem yeah. out in Japan already. It'll be localized and kind of this year. That. Yeah, that looks like a cool dungeon crawler. Now, I heard it wasn't selling very well, but it got good reviews in Japan. Um, we have this un we have this unannounced game. 
I don't think there's any more big first party ones. I don't know if I'm so, forgetting any. So then looking at it from like a real life perspective here, it could be Metroid. That would be fucking. It awesome. could be Animal Crossing. I would say an Animal Crossing. I I don't think a lot of people are like oh Retro Studios is game. I think that would be on NX. That would be an optimal one because that's a talented second party studio that they yeah. have. Um, God, I hope not another Donkey Kong side scroller though. Yeah. That would crush my hopes and dreams. They just put out Tropical Freeze right yeah. a couple years ago. Yeah, which is it's hard, but it's good. Um, Tropical so, G's. So I'm thinking like they have some games they don't have announced. So could the con- could the Wii U stick it out through 2016, which was another rumor, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That you, I think you guys reported on, or not reported on, but you mentioned it on the podcast I believe, before. I believe yeah. you did. Um, so would the handheld come out in the fall, and the Wii U they stick out with the Wii U for the whole year, and then 2017 like. Maybe early 2017, they're like, let's they bring the did. console out. That would bring back validity to the statement where Nintendo said that Wii U will still be their main home console mm. in 2016. Yeah. Good point. I, I'm 100% in that boat. I think that the NX home console will be 2017. Which kind of worries me about how it would do, but unless it's early 2017, where like, you know, the low, like, even the software lulls kind of been yeah. small, they could do that. Or, so I think they're going to have a direct very soon. Because there's a supposed unannounced game. They said they would talk about NX this year. And, they and release dates. If, right? if it comes out this year, they need to talk about it like in February. Like they need Sweet. to do it in the next couple weeks. Yeah. Next few weeks. Next month, I would say. Um, because I believe PS4 and Xbox One were revealed kind of around then, right? They had yeah. their own events. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. So th- there were all the rumors that the handheld would be out in the summer. So I, I this isn't a pattern of theirs, but they could do... Brief reveal February, E3, or close to E3 in the summer, they reveal the handheld and console, how they work. They say, all right, the handheld will be out really soon, and then in the fall they have the console, and this is like a big year for them. Or they're like, we, they roll it out slower, and they're like, the console will be out early next year, yeah. and the handheld will be out this year, and I don't know, games you buy on the handheld, you can play on our console right away, you don't have to worry about all that shit. So, I don't know. It's a lot of conjecture, no one really knows yeah. anything, but uh, that's my rant. I'd have to hear something on. soon though i'm assuming yeah because the rumors keep coming and like yeah. people's hype like will get too high and only to be disappointed yeah. but the we'll rumor see. mill the meal meal the rumor mill is going to keep on churning the dookie butter unless they say something about yeah. it. yeah i think that they i think february is the perfect time yeah i think that'll be the month because that's it's kinda and slow. it's kind of unrelated but the final smash care final smash dlc i <laughs> 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 was the chair Sorry. That was the chair. It was no, the it chair. wasn't. It was Josh. That was my Josh. ass. <laughs> I've leaned in the chair, I heard. Dude, that was loud as fuck. <laughs> my ass, dude. I'm sorry. Dude, this morning I got out of the shower, right? Like, well, number one, I fucking woke up this morning, right? And Is I'm this laying. Part of the podcast? Yeah. Okay. I was laying there and I was like, fucking, like, my fucking stomach was like, ugh. And I was like, okay. So I fucking, usually when I wake up in the morning, I go and I turn the shower on and I take a shit, right? That's just, that's my morning routine. That's what I do. I take a shit. Man, fuck the water. And anyway, I'm sitting there and I'm like, I couldn't shit, right? So I get in the shower. And then when I get out of you the shit, sh- right in the shower. <laughs> no. It's a sl- no. The warm water loosened yeah. your... But when I got out of the shower, like literally, like, when I stu- stepped out of the shower, fucking, I released the loudest <laughs> fart I've ever had in my entire life, dude. And it was awful. And I was like, I have to shit and now. And then I did. So it was like, the shower helped me shit this morning as my fucking laxative. Did you, did you take another shower? No. Final Smash DLC is Josh's shit. Yeah, that's so, the hidden character. So yeah, anyway. Bayonetta and Corin will be out in February. <laughs> they already know that, but the direct maybe Wait. there's a direct where they're like, "It's out now, and we have info on mm. Smash NX." No, I'm kidding. Mm. I don't. I don't fucking know. But they just announced the concept. And I would like some Wii yeah. U backwards compatibility. <sighs> that could be a whole other topic. I'm kind of of the opinion like. You got to do it the way Microsoft is doing it, or yeah. you're held back again because the architecture. I don't know much about it, but I know more than I used to. It's Power PC. It's old. It costs them money because IBM doesn't fucking make it anymore, and they do it. It's be, built off the Wii, which is built yeah. off the GameCube. Like it's all. It's not the same architecture, I guess, it's, but like it's that cool. Like it's not. Cool. It's not like x86, which is the PS4 and the Xbox mm-hmm. One now, which is standard for PC. So like, it's like, like if, you, if you do Power PC, it's going to make it harder to do. That's a good point, Bert. It's like Legos. Yeah. You gotta fit them together still somehow. Yeah. But Every, everyone jokes like I said the NX is gonna be down. the NX is gonna be twelve GameCubes taped together or something. It'd be, it'd be sweet if they had GameCube compatibility. Because even the Wii and the Wii U don't have that. The Wii did. I want a GameCube. The old Wii, yeah. I want a GameCube. 
Yeah, I have one. I want to. I want to play some games on it. A lot. It was a lot of good games. That was like, you could say their last truly hardcore system. We was obviously went for the casual market. At Wii U, they tried to split. It probably leans more towards hardcore based off the people who bought it. Like casual people yeah. did not buy Wii U's, but but yeah, that was yeah. So didn't work anyway. out. But yeah, interesting year. So I'm always excited for Nintendo news. So we'll keep it up to date. I mean, we've we've literally covered. I mean, I think almost every single piece of NX news on this podcast. Yeah, we've yeah. tried to. We've tried to. We've it's big. It's going to be big. Yeah. And we talked about it in our mm-hmm. consoles discussion. That yeah, yeah, going to be big. Yeah.